This is probably going to be my most controversial video on this channel. I'm talking about a lot of different topics, especially cheaters and interchange right now and how it is as a little bit more than a casual player playing Tarkov. So this is going to be a very interesting video and let's start immediately. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here. So first of all, for me it's very important that we all have a good time. Especially you are spending your time watching my videos, spending time playing Tarkov. So it's important to grab a beer as always or any drink you like, grab some food, grab some snacks and enjoy today's video right here on the Inside FPS gaming channel. And let's start with my video about how to play or should you play interchange as a solo player right now. First of all, I have to tell you I'm not a full-time Tarkov player. I'm not a full-time content creator. I have a full-time job. I'm running several companies with my, with my business partners. So I don't have the time to nice. play Tarkov full-time like 10, 12, whatever hours a day. Uh, but I want to make this channel for you guys that you have a better experience in fps games especially right now tarkov and i think battlefield in the future let's jump into the today's topic about interchange and interchange is right now a hell house for several reasons the first reason is you cannot play interchange as a solo player because you will face cheaters multiple other teams and you have to, or you almost have to play meta weapons, which means if you want to make some money, because that's the reason why you should play interchange. If you want to make some money, make sure that you are an experienced player. You have to bring some decent gear into the raid. But I want to start with the cheaters uh, topic first. The cheater problematic is crucial. It's it's. I thought last wipe. I thought, dude, it's. It's amazing how many cheaters we have on laps and in several situations. I tried many servers and I'm really thankful for your tips and that we have this interaction and communication together to, to experience or to, to make sure to help each other on which server can we play, what can we do and all of that. I really appreciate that and that's why I like this channel and this project. But right now on Interchange it's like it's so worth to go on Interchange that we see a lot of cheaters and it doesn't matter on which service you play so my tr strategy is find a server with a low population so like um in after midnight in their region and i try to avoid to play on uh high population servers for interchange i'm not avoiding pvp i like to go for pvp because i want to make this videos and i want to show you some action so first tip and i don't get the point why we don't see an improvement due to this very bad, very, very bad situation. As I said last wipe, it was a big thing, but right now it's amazing how obvious you can face cheaters. Like you get shots through the wall, like they have the best pre-aim ever. And I don't care if I lose a fight in Tarkov. I really don't care. That's the, that's the game and that's why I like it because the reward for winning a fight and the feeling for winning a fight is is amazing and that's why Tarkov is so different compared to other games but how bad the treatment against cheaters is is amazing it's it's I don't I really don't get it we don't have any kind of overwatch or replays or whatever and I don't get the point why we don't see a focus on that getting replays getting an overwatch and all of that I'm I have to admit that I'm not a, a gaming designer or program or whatever but for me, I would focus on the player experience and if the players have a bad experience in a game or in a certain in a certain time period, this is bad for the game and Tarkov is on a peak right now and you have to improve and I am the gaming experience. As I said, I really love Tarkov. I really love to play Tarkov. It's a great game. It's a unique game and it has so much potential, but right now it's a really bad situation, especially if you're a solo player. Speaking of solo players, if you go on interchange, it's very likely that you see a squad or a duo team, a trio or whatever. So you have to have good gear and you have to be a very experienced player in terms of PvP, especially on interchange. Interchange is a very dark map with a lot of corners, a lot of angles, but it has also high potential. I don't get a point why we see such a power creep in Tarkov. That means instead of fixing current meta weapons or instead of fixing 
um, some weapons we get more and more and more very good weapons like the mutant and some something else the biggest thing is that it's not like okay we have the ar-15s and the 416s which are very good like we're giving let's just give another thing and and bring the mutant into the game which is also very good and like you have more and more and more and more good high-end weapons but the best part in tarkov is the way to get to these high-end weapons but some days after the wipe it was still the same everybody's running mutants and whatever and the game is getting every day the same same thing and that's what, what why i don't like have this this late wipe uh, stuff everybody's running level 5 and level 6 armor everybody's running um mutant with bp right now because bp is easy to get and that's why the mutant is so popular bp is like 900 rubles you can buy it from prepper and it's very very easy to get so i think the change with the ammunition was very nice it was a good decision to make the best weapon in the game only found in raid. That's great. Screwed it up. They screwed up the mutant. Mutant is a powerful weapon, easy to play with BP, and BP is double tap forex, double tap whatever, and it's way too easy to kill somebody. And the next thing is interchange by itself. They improved the loot on interchange again. The lockers are so easy to loot and they have such a good loot table you can find bitcoins roller quite easily it's not even so rare i thought oh, bitcoin is a rare thing it's not it's really really not and that's why a lot of players are forced to play interchange because they want to make some money and it's like it's going down and down and down i spent millions millions of millions of millions just to make this video just to be sure what i'm talking about it's not like a bad day it's just like a bad period on interchange and I think that's a really big thing. Why not improving other maps? Why not improving the loot table on other maps? Right now we have an event on Shoreline. We can see Sanitar, 100% spawn chance at the resort and Rashala. So we have, of course, a high demand for Shoreline right now. A lot of players are playing Shoreline, which is okay. But imagine you want to quest or imagine you want to do some things on Shoreline. You can't do it right now. I like to play Shoreline. In the current situation because a lot of stuff is going on you cannot play interchange for some reasons you not can play shoreline so we have reserve we have customs and that's almost it of course we have woods it's still my favorite right now even more than before we have labs labs is surprisingly good to play it's um my biggest opponents on labs right now are scaffs and uh, raid let's say raiders which is good that's perfect i rather would play labs all day I have Labs cheaters on, on Labs, Labs is still uh, very welcome by cheaters, but it's not as bad as Interchange. You don't have to bring a keycard into Interchange or for Interchange, you can loot a lot on Interchange. So for a cheaters perspective or real money traders or whatever, Interchange is perfect compared to Labs. So let's continue with the thing that we as a nor the normal player is suffering a lot in my opinion right now from the current situation or the way Tarkov goes. If we get more and more and more very powerful weapon and more and more like widespread very strong weapons this is not the way Tarkov should go and interchange to make a lot of money for a small percentage of the player base it's also I don't know if it's if it's the right way. Of course, it's hard to find the balance, and I'm not speaking of okay as a as a really casual player with only one, two, three hours a day, or not even every day in a week. You should have the same chances. Like you have the same chances, but if players spend more time in a game, they should get a better reward. No, no doubts about that. I'm and I'm not talking about about that. I'm talking about how easy you can cheat in Tarkov or how easy you can make a lot of money on one single map for a long time period and how this affects to the rest of the player base. So would I recommend go on interchange as a normal casual player? I wouldn't. Just try to avoid an interchange. And if you want to learn interchange right now, I would suggest to see this current wipe as I do as a, like a, a training wipe or like a I want to try out something wipe. That's what I, I'm doing right now. I'm spending all my money in trying out, getting better, improve myself and try to deal with 
inhuman situations like how to deal with cheaters even better than before. So that's what I try to do right now. I try to get red key card, I try to save some money, but almost everybody is bartering red key card for very hilarious spadas which are not worth to do. Um, finding red key card for me is almost impossible. I have really bad luck with key cards and I don't like to go shawlan all day long. That's why I try to save some money, running some gears, running some anti-meta weapons and running interchange even more that I can report you what's going on on Interchange and what's going on with Tarkov specifically. And for a little bit, let's say, casual plus gamer, um, I like to invest some time, some time into Tarkov to make these videos, and I like to help you with your experience in Tarkov. So maybe I am completely wrong with this video, maybe I'm completely, I'm just bad and I don't know nothing about the game, and I'm way too bad to play inter Interchange, that's, that's maybe right. But that's why I like to hear your feedback and your what do you think about this whole topic. Please write in the comments below. And as always, we Germans want to win at least something. That's why you should like this video. It really helps to improve ourselves. And as always, stay safe, have a great time and see you in the next video.